Another video, another guitar. Never ends. Really, it just never ends. Um, <clears throat> so if you've been following me on, you know, Facebook, Instagram, all those good things, uh, you've probably seen uh, <clears throat> seen at least this guitar body uh, for the past maybe a couple weeks or so. Um, essentially, this was my Fiesta Red Strat. Everything on this guitar was on that guitar except for the bridge and basically I saw this body which is a capri orange body um, that is just it's so hard to find and it's originally what I was looking for when I put together the Fiesta Red Strat um, even though I do like the Fiesta Red a lot um, but this was originally the color I was looking for because I wanted to make that sort of Tom DeLonge, um, Adam Song type strat, and it was I just couldn't find it. I just couldn't find it anywhere. Um, so anyway, um, <clears throat> so what I decided to do instead of just having two guitars just like this, I decided that I was going to make that Fiesta Red strat, you know, something very different and something like cu like a custom guitar just meant for me pretty much just like exactly what I would want in a guitar and I knew I still wanted a Tom DeLonge guitar and as much as I said that was my favorite guitar I mean it just made more sense to make this one the Tom DeLonge guitar you know with the orange it, it just made sense I mean a lot of people gave me shit for it um, but <clears throat> I have every intention of well, not every intention, but I, I really do believe that that Strat, once it's finished, will still be my favorite guitar, even though it's going to be completely different from this. And I mean, <clears throat> this thing is awesome. I mean, it's not a hard tail like the other one was, but I set it up to pretty much stay right where it is. It's not really going anywhere. I put like a little block in there. Um, <clears throat> this was an original Fender Bridge. Um, it's one of the wider spaced ones and that is actually one thing that's different on the Fiesta Red Body. That's actually a narrower spacing. It's only narrower by like two sixteenths or one eighth of an inch, but I mean it does make a slight difference. But you know, it's it's really not super noticeable and it's not like it's unplayable with like the neck that's on it or anything because the original Tom DeLong guitars I'm fairly certain were the wider spacing ones it was just that guitar that um fiesta red body that had um <clears throat> i had order it ordered it with like the little bit narrower spacing so um anyway like i said everything that was on that guitar is on this one this is an original tom DeLong guitar neck um i just got it on ebay when i was building that other guitar um the pickguard is from an original Tom DeLonge guitar as well. When I had my black guitar, my black Strat that I turned into like the Tom DeLonge uh, boxcar racer sort of Strat, um, I took that pickguard off and put the the black one on just because you know it made sense. And so I, I ended up keeping this, and you know it, it does look really nice. I know a, a guy was just talking to me about it. Um, and you know it's not necessarily like a white pearl it's kind of it's kind of aged a little bit because it is like 12 or 13 years old now so um, anyway um, the pickup is a bare knuckle juggernaut it is definitely one of my favorite pickups I don't think it's my favorite pickup anymore um, just because I've really really grown to love uh, the Stockholm P90 from bare knuckle um, but that that'll be going into the the red strap uh, other than that, um, I, I forgot to mention, I did upgrade the saddles. These are Graftech String Saver saddles. Um, I chose these all black ones only because they were cheaper. Um, I think these were only like 30 or 40 bucks for the set. And they are so much more comfortable than the bent steel ones that were on the bridge originally. And... I just I knew I, I couldn't really deal with that. I just never liked those at all. <coughs> so I went with this one. And granted, it doesn't look, you know, like 
Toms did back in the day, but you, who really gives a shit, really? Um, and I do know that they have uh, GravTech saddles like this that have the chrome or the stainless steel or, or whatever, um, and then just like a little part of it has the string saver thing to it, but I didn't want to spend twice as much money on it for something that was really just cosmetic, so... Um, Anyway, I mean, there's nothing really too much to show on this guitar sound-wise because you guys have heard it in all my videos a hundred times before, but if, you know, you stumbled across this video for the first time, or my channel for the first time, you're just checking this out, um, I'll definitely show it off. Um, has a black back plate to it just because it was something I had lying around and I figured I didn't want it to just be an open cavity if I didn't need it to be. Um, so... Um, the strings are a little old, you know, I, I kind of just took them off the red strat. I didn't feel like uh, opening another pack of strings, so they're not super bright or anything. They're a little uh, little duller, but um, what else was I going to say? Um, I don't know. Anyway, it sounds killer. I really, really love it, and um, I just did like a light setup on it. You know, I, I put the strings... Uh, the action relatively low and I intonated it and everything so it's playing playing really well so let's check it out <laughs> This pickup's really, really nice for cleans. And I'm out of tune already. Or not. Hmm, maybe not. Keep forgetting the fucking weird tuning. Basically, a, uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter um, what tuning I'm in. I, I mean, I like it no matter what, but it's basically, what is it? Um, an F sharp. It's almost like an F sharp major, but the two lower notes, um, not major, just an, yeah, just a regular F sharp. Um, <clears throat> but instead of going across like a bar chord, you're actually just leaving those last two strings open, so. And I actually took that chord from Rush. Alex Lifeson likes to use it a lot, and um, I was actually reading, or I was watching a, uh, I think I was watching a video on like, behind the scenes of their uh, Snakes and Arrows album, and for the song Far Cry, um, there's a part where they're doing like um, something like how does it go
Um, but anyway, um, for like some part of the song, he was having a hard time getting. Oh yeah, he was trying to get out of the intro where it's just like. And what he said was he was having a hard time finding a like a a way to transition into the next part with the. So he said that he kind of uses that chord um, in a lot of different songs, and I've, I've definitely heard it in other songs like Cygnus X1, uh, Book 2 is, is a good one. Um, but he uses it as a way to kind of just get out of whatever situation he's in. It's good, like, transitional chord, which is really cool. So, neither here nor there. Um, but... I think I pretty much said everything I wanted to say on this, uh, this guitar. I, I really, really like it, and I'm not selling it. Um, I know a lot of people <clears throat> already have already s suggested that I should sell it, and the only way I would be selling a Capri Orange guitar is if I somehow just found another one and I had, I, I found another body or something, and I had a spare couple hundred bucks, and I felt like buying that just to put one together to sell. Um, that would be the only reason I would buy one and sell one, so. I've wanted, I've wanted an orange Strat for at least a decade, so probably even before I started playing guitar, so probably more than like 13 years ago. Um, when did I start listening to Blink? I started listening to Blink, yeah, like over 13 years ago, and This was this was definitely like the guitar that really really got me into wanting a strat like more than more than anything else. And I don't know if it's true or not, but I know that when Tom was selling some of his strats on his reissued app, um, he had one left and it was a blue one that he had like painted on and whatever, and it had like a baritone telly neck on it and. Um, he said that it was his original orange strat that he had painted over blue and whatever and like put the other neck on and that if that was true i mean as soon as i heard that it fucking broke my heart i was so sad because that guitar meant like so much to me and it's just fucking heartbreaking <laughs> so anyway i got my own now and you know fuck them i don't care <laughs> It's pretty sweet. So, um, thanks for watching. And you know, I know this video was kind of a kind of weird because I kind of lost focus a lot. But who cares? You probably don't care. You probably just wanted to see it and hear it, and you did. So. <laughs> Ah!